This training video describes how to use the remote data feature in Brilliance. The VHA users are well familiar with the Joint Longitudinal Viewer, commonly known as JLV. JLV is an excellent application for reviewing the remote data. The JLV works much like CPRS. The user must manually open the desired widget and review one section or one document at a time. Therefore, like CPRS, finding a particular piece of data can be challenging in JLV. Brillion supports downloading the VA remote data from multiple VA medical centers for the desired date range. The well-organized and well-formatted data is searchable like the local clinical data. In most cases, the Brillion's remote data function can find the needed data within a few seconds. Doing the same in JLV may take many minutes. Brillion's works best for the VA remote data. It can display the Department of Defense data, but it may be slow. For the private sector data, JLV is the only choice at present. To open the remote data form, please click on the remote data button on the top panel. There are multiple options under this button. For this tutorial, we will click on the first item, which opens the remote data form. Like all Brillion's forms, the user interface is quite simple. On the left side of the top panel, the user can select the medical centers to get data from, and the date range for the data to download. Of course, this selection depends on the history provided by the patient. On the right side of the top panel, there is the familiar user interface to search the downloaded data. The data display area has the tabs on the left side. The downloaded data is displayed on these tabs. Let us see how the remote data feature works. Based on the history, we know in which medical centers the patient received medical care and the approximate time frame. With that information in hand, downloading the pertinent remote data is as easy as 1, 2, 3. 1. Select the medical centers. 2. Select the date range. 3. Click the Load Remote Data button. Within a few seconds, the data is downloaded and placed on the CPRS-like tabs along the left side. The downloaded data can be manually reviewed on the each tab, or the entire data can be searched at once, as described later on. To manually review the data, simply click on the desired tab along the left side of the screen. The available data, if any, is displayed. Note that some tabs may not have any data. This is not an error. Some tabs have a drop-down box above the data display area. Using the drop-down box, the user can directly go to the selected document. As a special case, there is a tab for the reminders data. This data can be quite useful. The search function on this form is similar to the other forms in Brilliance. When we search, we are searching data on all the tabs simultaneously. Please see the user interface on the top panel. Let us search for colonoscopy and endoscopy. We type these words separated by semicolon and click the search button. The number of matches, if any, are displayed on the tab. Of course, many tabs will not have any matching text. The navigation panel is displayed along the right edge. It can be turned on or off. Using the navigation panel, we can directly go to the matching text in the source document. Using the right-click menu, we can copy and paste this text. Now, let us search for PSA. PSA. 
To copy the desired lab data, use the navigation panel. Select the desired rows in the navigation panel. Using the right-click menu, copy and paste as usual. You can see how this data will look in CPRS. To avoid overcrowding the user interface, Brilliance uses a second form to display the less commonly needed data. We can open this form, using the Remote Data button on the main form. We can also open this form, using the button on the bottom panel of the Remote Data form. How to load, review, and search remote data on this form is exactly the same as the demonstrated earlier in this tutorial.